स्टार्ट वेयर यू आर यूज वट यू हैव एंड डू वट यू कैन नमस्कार एवरी वन वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इस वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं मेजर स्पीशीज जो रिसेंटली न्यूज में थी एंड दे आर ऑल्सो रेलिवेंट फॉर यूपीएससी तो चलिए दोस्तों विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम आज का डिस्कशन स्टार्ट करते हैं रेन बेबलर के साथ इट वॉज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली बट वॉचर्स हैव डिस्कवर्ड अ न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ रेन बेबलो इन रिमोट नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न अरुणाचल प्रदेश विच हैज बीन नेम बाय दम एज लिसू रेन बेबलो अर्लियर देर हैज बीन ओनली वन रिपोर्ट ऑफ द साइटिंग ऑफ द रेन बेबलर इन इंडिया वे बैक इन नाइनटीन एटी एट इन द सेम माउंटेन एंड रिसेंट फाइंडिंग्स वॉज पब्लिश बाय इंडियन बर्ड्स विच इज अ पियर रिव्यूड जर्नल ऑफ साउथ एशियन ऑर्निथोलॉजी हेयर ऑर्निथोलॉजी मीन्स अ ब्रांच ऑफ जियोलॉजी डीलिंग विद द स्टडी ऑफ बर्ड्स राइट and this is the image of ren bablo now let's know more about ren bablo there are about 20 species of small asian birds belonging to the babbler family timaliidae and they are 10 to 15 cm long and short tailed and have a rather short and straight bill ren bablers occur chiefly in southern asia and great bellied ren bablers which are almost similar to this new species are mostly found in myanmar and in smaller numbers in china and thailand and they are classified as least concern by international union for conservation of nature now let's know about cactus it was in the news because recently union minister of rural development and panchayati raj Shri Giriraj Singh convened a consultation meeting on cactus plantation and its economic usage in New Delhi and this is the image of cactus and let's know more about cactus it is a xerophytic plant which though grows relatively at a slower pace and has an immense potential a xerophyte is a species of plant that has adaptations to survive in an environment with little liquid water and many live in extremely dry environments even being found in atacama desert which is one of the driest places on earth here i have a question for you please let me know the location of atacama desert in the comment section below right now let's get back to our discussion cactus will help in achieving nationally determined contributions and sustainable development goals for the country as well and cactus plantation will be picked by the farmers of the degraded land areas if the benefits outweigh their existing level of incomes as india has approximately 30% of its geographical area under the category of degraded land and plantations of various kinds of constitute one of the activities which will help in restoration of degraded lands and experience of countries like chile mexico brazil morocco and various others are being explored which will be of great help for realization of the objectives and department of land resources has been mandated to restore degraded lands through its watershed development component of pradhan mantri krishi sichai yojana which is a centrally sponsored scheme launched with an aim to enhance physical access of water on farm and expand cultivable area under assured irrigation and improve on farm water use efficiency and introduce sustainable water conservation practices etc so let's learn about orcas they were in the news because recently two united states cities declare support for orcas legal right and orcas are found across the world and are also known as killer whales and this is the image of orcas it is black on top and white below with white patch behind each eye Now let's learn more about orcas. Orcas are also known as killer whales and they are among the world's most easily recognized marine mammals and they are the largest members of the dolphin family. Orcas are known to be highly intelligent and they live in small groups usually called pods and they are found in every ocean on the planet and they are likely the most widely distributed mammals in the world next to humans. And orcas are extremely fast swimmers. and have been recorded at speed up to 54 km per hour now let's learn about great hornbill it was in the news because recently vice president inaugurated the 23rd edition of hornbill festival at naga heritage village in nagaland the festival is named after hornbill which is a common bird among folklores and tribes of nagaland and can be commonly seen prancing around in the forests of nagaland and government of nagaland organizes the hornbill festival every year in the first week of december to To encourage intertribal interactions and promote cultural heritage of Nagaland it is also called festivals of festival and this is the image of hornbill now let's know more about great hornbill it is also known as concave cascade hornbill and it is one of the larger members of hornbill family it is found in indian subcontinent and southeast asia and its impressive size 
and color have made it important in many tribal cultures and rituals. And the great hornbill is long lived and lived for nearly 50 years in captivity and it is predominantly frugivorous but is an opportunist and will prey on small mammals, reptiles and birds. Here frugivorous means any animal that subsists totally or primarily on fruit, right? And it is classified as vulnerable by International Union for Conservation of Nature, right? Now let's learn about Amar Falcons. Recently Amar Falcons put Nagaland on the world birding map and this is the image of Amar Falcon. Now let's learn more about Amar Falcons. They are small raptors of the falcon family with scientific name Falco amurensis and they are the world's longest traveling raptors and they start their traveling route with the onset of winter which is the longest amongst all avian species. They are named after Amur River that forms the border between Russia and China and they breed in southeastern Siberia and northern China and migrate across India then over Indian Ocean to southern Africa before returning to Mongolia and Siberia. And they are classified as least concerned by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and they are also protected under Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and Convention on Migratory Species. So with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening. Have a happy Sunday.